Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve what is the value of 5 divided by 5 divided by 5 divided by 5. And we have to select the options given. Okay, so options are given. We have to select the answer from here. Okay, so now what happens in this case is that you normally follow board marks. Okay, but now since you just have one sign which is division. So here we do not need to do much. Okay, we do let's do this 5 divided by 5 gets you what 1 that is divided by 5 divided by 5 okay so see there is one way of doing which I'm just doing right now another way also I'll show you next is what whenever you have a division sign between two numbers okay so you can follow the rule of K C F now what is K K means keeping the first number as it is so we had 1 5 divided by 5 is 1 okay now we keep the first number as it is and then you change c stands for change so change the division sign to multiplication and then flip you flip the number five so basically flipping is equals to reciprocal okay so reciprocal of five will get you one upon five applying the same logic over here we keep the first number as it is so that is one upon five we are writing one upon five changing the division sign to multiplication and then flipping so you get 1 upon 5 so final answer is 1 upon 25 now that is not a part of your answer but I know that 1 upon 25 can be written as 5 square and if I want to put any number which is in the denominator in the numerator I just need to change its index to change the signs of its index okay so now, now sign of the index is positive right we have positive 2 so that will become negative 2. So your option C is your answer. Now a lot of people think that the answer for this one is 1. Why like that? Because this, like I said 5 divided by 5 is 1. So you keep the division sign as it is. And then you do divide by 5. 5 divided by 5. You here also you will get 1. So 1 divided by 1 gets you 1. But that's not how you work. Okay. Even if you just have one single sign in your entire question. You always start from your left and go up to right. Okay, so this is absolutely wrong. Now, like I said, we'll apply KCF throughout. So what happens in this case is we'll keep K, right? So we'll keep the first five as it is. Change this division sign. This division sign to multiplication. Flip the next five. Similarly, will happen for the next two five. So now what happens in this case is this five and this five is cancelling. Again, we are left with what? One upon twenty-five. That is nothing but what? 5 raised to minus 2. Okay, so I hope you understood where people are making a lot of mistake in these kind of questions. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.